Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. We are on round number 122. And uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at the strategic map so we can get an idea of where we're at. Here's Goldstone Federation, still the biggest, we think it's the biggest uh, regime in the game. Uh, these guys are doing pretty well, Sansaria. Look, they're, they're redu they are re gradually reducing their their level. They've, they've moved to blackmail as well. I think that these are going to attack. And so I've got to finish this war here with... Uh, with Bran Bond pretty damn fast. I think they are op they're probably going to be open to uh, a peace deal. I'm, I think that might be important to do. I mean, I'd, I'd like to try and take out Dark Base or whatever it's called, if we could. Um, but yeah, what's the chances of it happening? This is Bond House and this is Dark Base. You don't know much about Dark Base other than we think it's a village. So, I mean, this would be a good... I, I want to take this territory... But these guys, these guys are really going to attack. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Uh, I can try to waste political points in, you know, dissuading them. But uh, I don't know. It's a war game, isn't it? <laughs> like, is it a good idea for me to do that? I don't think I can manage three wars at once. I just don't have the manpower. But, you know, I mean, four technically. Because we've cause there's these things. These in un I haven't got the manpower to be able to deal with the demons either. And I need to kill them. We also need more troops because we need we need to defend all these borders. You can't just like, en enemies can wander into your borders, right? So you have to have you have to really you want to you want a you want a troop on every hex. <laughs> I, that's how I used to play. I used to have a troop on every hex in my border, just so that everything was defended. And you can't realistically, you know, you can't easily do that <clears throat> in Shadow Empire now. I don't think, but still. Um, okay, so that was the strategic map. Yeah, we've we've basically. Yeah, Dun uh, Dunkle Start as well. They are kind of close enough to us that they might want to attack us. I need to take this this uh, zone as a matter of priority. Um, I don't know what to do about Goldstone, to be honest. Let's have a look at the victory point overview and see who's winning. So yeah, Goldstone's still winning. They they are way ahead into they twice as much population as Sansaria, and they've got you know about the same amount of planet. So they're way ahead. Then it's Sansaria. Then we've got Topelia Pax, which we've not even bumped into yet. Then it's us. Then Dunkle Start. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Brown Bond are right at the bottom. And Elisaria is still kicking, live and kicking somehow. Right from the start of the game. <clears throat> Here's the Empire dashboard. Worker support is slowly going up. Uh, we are truthful. Uh, bureaucratic points is going up. Political points is going up. Look, because we've now we've reallocated more, um, more bureaucratic points into political point production through the... Uh, what do you call it? The High Command Council or whatever it's called. Supreme Command Council. Um, Alright. Yeah, we're this, we'll just have a quick look. So the, the Economic Council's going for uh, Metal Steel Filtration. We're going to want that pretty quick. Because then we can get Polymer Armor. Um, but in order to get that up, we need to get a whole bunch of other stuff first. Including Heavy Industry. Now we do have some Heavy Industry. But we don't have... Uh, what are these going into aerodynamic design? Let's go to the airport, uh, Air Force Research Council. Yeah, we have got we have got heavy industry now um, at Guegon, but getting people in there to work in it is difficult. We need we need more quality of life, so that's what we're working on at the moment. Uh, then we'll get the heavy industry up. But I mean, we don't really have the we don't really have the rare metal production for heavy industry anyway. So uh, what are you going to do? Um. But it's better than building them in the workshop. It's more efficient than building them in the workshop. So if you look here, look, we're, we it requires 50 rares per turn, just a level one, and you get 10 machines. So even if you put this down to, you know, 25% uh, production, you're still going to be using, what was that, 12, yeah, 12.5 rares every turn, which is more than we're getting. So, hmm. And we're, then we'd be getting two machines out of it. Now, the machines are pretty useful, but we also need high-tech components as well. Uh, let's have a look at the VidCom. Yeah, we're into the second half of this time of relative calm. We're getting a whole bunch of political bonus points, which is helping us big time. Uh, we've researched cluster bombs, so we're going to be much more effective now in fighting soft targets. Uh, we've completed the heavy wheeler. I've renamed that the chariot, and then we've got a sanitate. We've discovered sanitation programs, and we've got some cards come in. Uh, yeah, I think if you actually look at the letterbox, yeah, Sansaria warns us, look. They tell us we should prepare ourselves to take an attitude towards them a bit with a bit more humility. Okay, that 
basically means that they've yeah they've reduced their level of scientific cooperation with us they are try they're going to be you know just reducing our levels they want to attack that's what that means they want to attack uh, we need to get the other group into into power and i don't know like is it just is it worth spending the political points trying to because they're just going to keep they, they've decided they want to go to war with us now right so they're gonna they're gonna keep doing it and eventually they'll declare war one way or another so here's the history yeah these guys i don't think they made any attacks this turn dunkel start attacked them and destroyed that group uh we need to move in there before dunkel start take that now uh, we can't have Dunkle start take that. If they, that will be, I will consider that a serious problem if they take that zone because it is the population from that zone that I need. By the way, the demon hunters took a, a bunch of airstrikes here um, and attacks, and they 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 took a lot of losses. Uh, yeah, I, I, if they take, if Dunkle start take that before me, I'm, you know, I kind of I kind of want to quit. I'm not going <laughs> to, but that will that will feel like a real kick in the balls after I did all that work to fight these guys off. And I don't know what work Dunkelstar has done, but I'm not letting them take this. So this is kind of, this has put a, me on the clock now. I'm on the clock because I can't have these guys come in here and take it. I've got to, I've got to get, for a start, I've got to get troops down here, in here, and I've got to hold this now, right? We, I also need to, there's the Dunkelstar here. But these, these borders are drawn. Um, Yeah, I've, I've, I've got it. This one, this is a critical situation to sort out, I think. Okay, these are uh, independent motorized artillery. Okay, so we've got some artillery guns coming in at least. Uh, let's have a look at the decisions quickly. So, military research council uh, task priority. I'm going to go for ammo compaction here, I think. Because we're going to be using a lot of ammunition from now on. Uh, we've also got quad machine gun. I'm not bothered about polymer armor yet. We're not going to be able to use it. M missiles are kind of... A, yeah, they're good, but not that great. Um, okay, let me show you the model that we created. This is the chariot. Uh, this is the 25 mil armor uh, millimeter plating thing. And the design was pretty good. It got a, a decent structural design. It's not quite as good as the AP as this one. This base design wasn't very great. Uh, however, it's it's okay, basically, and it's got reasonable hit points considering it's only got 25 mil armor. It will, you know, it will be okay, basically. It will be okay. Uh, it's it's designed to try. I'm not. It's not designed to kill things. It's designed to transport me around and be cheap to replace, basically. Uh, okay, what do we want next? Aircraft is out of the question. Um, I think what we're going to do is. Why is aircraft out of the question? It's be right, aircraft are out of the question right now because we do not have the, the any of the materials to really build them in a good in a particular in a useful way. I can build light aircraft basically, and that's it. Uh, supply look, applied science council just putting no bureaucratic points into this at all. Uh, Air Force re uh, Air Force Council, let's call them. Let's change their resource fo uh, research focus. Um, let's go into aircraft design for a bit. And just try and get some basic points in some of those. The Model Design Council. Uh, I don't know what to do with these now. Let me pause it, folks, and I'll think about this. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to um, build on the loader too. So we, we've we got a really light gun that we made, the 400mm how it's gun. And we've got a 240mm. So uh, this is really, really a very heavy gun. That's going to be used for, you know, shelling artillery, you know, shelling shelling down uh, entrenchment damaging enemies from afar you know causing damage to infrastructure that kind of stuff uh but we also bought built some smaller ones uh, i built these specifically so that they would be uh they they could be something that i could attach to a battalion uh because we've got this new modern infantry battalion basically i am going to start bringing those things in uh they're better than they look believe it or not and then we're going uh, i think what we're going to do is get somewhere halfway between so i can't remember now which size of it is hard to pull I want to say 
I want to say, because we've got the 250 mil. Two, I think I'm just going to make the biggest one now. Um, we'll go with combat armor. We'll upgrade the gun. We've got a we've got a, a light one. Now we're going to get a really big one that we can put onto some trucks. Sansaria foresees war. Okay. Yeah, let's make a public state of amity for, towards them. Um, Understood. Okay. They, it did not express their relation to hostile. They're going to attack us, so... Uh, this this game is going to get interesting very very quickly i've got to get down here and deal with this really really quick what will happen is sansari are likely to move in very very quickly and they could they could protect, threaten mine us very fast so we've got to we've got to kind of do something this is a this war i don't see the point in it now um i like look look at this terrain i've got to fight in this is just crap so this this is one war we want to try and get out of now with goldstone because these forces can be you know we can we can basically go and we can move this way kill these demons and then go re reinforce this border we need to get up at least one two three brigades minimum three brigades we need that way um and you know supporting stuff like tanks artillery recon buggies um you know and yeah that's that's what we need there let's kill these demons quick I don't think these are going to... Oh, we don't need that many troops. Let's see what we can do here. Attack him with the, uh, these two regular... With, with the militia and the regulars. Go on, you can do it. Looking good. Okay. Alright, so we lost some militia, but that's okay. These end independent motorized MGs... Um, I think we've got to start moving these troops now down this way. We've got to have something in case Sansaria do attack. Um, I don't think I don't think this is easy to kill. Like I don't think like it's tempting just to keep fire, fighting into these things, but I mean, how do you beat them? There's so many; they just keep regenerating. And sure, it's great for my. You know, I'm getting design points all the time because they get a lot of hits. Mission accomplished. Um, but yeah, like it's this is a this is a bit of a tough situation. I think we move the mobile units back now, where we can. Just keep these ones around, just and try to get some. We've got to get some troops up on this side, I think. Yeah, which, and we'll try to upgrade these um, these models too. Yeah, I, like I need, I'm desperate for brigades. That's the problem. So even replenishing the losses that we've got is is feeling like a a bit of a punishing thing at the moment. Um, and like, do we really need two brigades up there? Uh, this is the thing. Like this, we're not going to win this war. Like, this is not a winnable war for us. It's not a winnable war for them either. Man, these type guys took a lot of damage. Um, let's try and push these the, uh, demons back this way. So right, what are we doing? We need to get. I think we we unattach these guys now. We'll just put them back under the first SHQ. Now oh, is that truck station up yet? Yep, it is. Okay, uh, we're just going to try to move. We're going to try to move these tanks over onto. We, basically, I, I need a massive redeployment now. These wars are not won, by the way. Like there, there's, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah. It's, it's. This is a really, really tough battle now because they will attack. There's no doubt about it. They're hostile. They've reduced their, they've, they've actively reduced their relations. Um, I can try to fight it off, but it's a, probably just a waste of point, a waste of uh, political points. The thing is. You know, we can throw money at them, but that's just help, you know. Understood. Yeah, failure. We've So we, even if you f succeed, then it's, you know, 
yeah we can't do any more that this turn so they've it's they've stopped it now so you can't just spam them with stuff like you used to be able to um so yeah i, I think they're going to attack us i don't think there's anything we can do about it so we we're on the clock now with this war here um Brown bond is still up here. Look, let's see if we can try and let's try and find these insurgents in this hill in these hills. Mission accomplished. Okay, we pushed them back that turn. Oh, we've got a free folk town here as well. Now there is no. Yeah, we just need to make sure they're getting supplied. No, they're still not getting supplied here. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, now they're getting supplied. Okay. All right. Right, artillery. Let's get more guns up. Uh, these are the load of ones. I think. Uh, can't do it. Yeah, they're no good on their own. Uh, they need. They need the... Uh, let's get these guys. Get these artillery. No. And we'll move. We'll move them in by uh, like that. I think. Okay. Let's get this green group down here. Bring this uh, this militia out. Uh, we we haven't got enough troops here on this border. I mean, yeah. These artillery need to be in a position where they can actually get some replacements. It's actually stopping me here, is it? Yeah, logistical points. Okay. There's no logistical points here. What's the problem? We got a bottleneck? Oh, we got a bottleneck at Minos. I wonder what's going on there then. Too many pull. Why is it taking pull points? So this is this is what bugs me about this. Like, why is it taking pull points down there? It does not need those, and it's set. Ugh. It's just infuriating. It's like you you've just got to micromanage it because even though the system was designed so you don't have to micromanage it, but blah, blah, whatever. Like, there's no there is no reason why that should do that. That should be sending those points this way because I've literally locked off everything apart from points going that way. So why it's sent, why it's wasting points going out this way. And that is the pull system that's doing that. That's not me. That's I've not done any of that. That is pull. That's set, that's pull deliberately choosing, calculating that it needs 4,000 up there when we've got a bottleneck here. Like what the hell is going on there? That's a bug as far as I'm concerned. And if it's not a bug, then it's just a bad system. Anyway, it's certainly bugging me. Um, yeah, what do I do about this? There's nothing we can do about it, is there really? Well, you just gotta... I guess you just gotta start manually messing around with traffic lights, which is the whole point of the, why the, the pulse, people insisted on the pool system being put in there anyway. Um, okay, eight. Th that's gonna be 8,000 next turn. 6,000, yeah, that's better. I don't know if we're even going to allow... This is going to be allowing enough stuff to get through, but... Uh, Ogla Ruins. We should be building a truck station. No, we're building a Vidcom station. Okay. Let's stop all points going out that way. We don't need, don't need them going out there, I don't think. Uh, oh, food's going backwards. Okay, that, that's because I shut down food production a little bit. Um... That's okay. Let's bring it back up here at Dragon. And that should uh, that should help cover some of the loss. Um, we've also got this one here at Keatville. Yeah, we'll bring that back up again. We've got plenty of water, look. I overcompensated on that in the last turn. Hmm. Yeah, these guys need to stay here on this front. Uh, they are here at Goldstone, look. Sorry. Wrong... Uh, They were attacking. They were attacking him with tanks into these low mountains. Which ain't the best idea, to be honest. But they seem to do okay. 
They get a minus 50% attack modifier though. And I don't think they're going to do it where, we, where we've got ARPGs. Like, that wouldn't be smart, I don't think. Okay, I've got to think about this quite carefully, I think. I think these tanks, what do we got? Line hunters and blitzers mixed. And this is the blitzer too, so these are the ones with the high velocity gun as well. Um, I think we're just uh, in this on this front now. We are just in defensive mode. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, these guys need supply too. Okay, that should just be should just be sending out what it needs, but I don't trust the pull system at all. It just doesn't do what it's supposed to. Um, let's see what we can do here, down here. So this is yeah, this is the big battle now. Really, we're kind of like I say, we're all kind of on the clock. And what have we got here? <clears> Tenth <throat> Independent Infantry Battalion. Yeah, these are a good model of uh, infantry troop. Got the grenadiers as well. They look about similar. Yeah, the grenadiers are actually better. Grenadier fives. They got an independent infantry regiment there, so a large amount of troops. And they got a light infantry battalion. Yeah, they're all quite. They're all veterans as well. They they brought everything back. This is their SHQ as well. They got a whole bunch of stuff in the SHQ too. Look, including two hundred and forty tanks. Um, yeah. Wowzer. Okay. Uh, we've got to protect this. Let's get the HQ there. Yeah, we're on a, a, a defensive posture. We might be able to push them out. Um, the problem is, you, if you push them out, you've still got to, you've got to continue. Uh, you know, you've got to be able to push, continue pushing in, and you've got to hold it as well. So we don't want it to be taking horrendous casualties. Uh, so the third, the third modern infantry brigade. Let's upgrade these, and we'll upgrade them to the modern infantry too. This gives them artillery as well. Now it's going to make them look more under strength than they are. Uh, but with them, we're going to build a bunch of artillery guns. But I think first, we've got some artillery on the way. The second, I think, are on... Should be on a defensive posture. No, they're not. Okay. So I'm going to get the second on and hold the line. Let's see what we can do here. Going in. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Good, 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 good. Mission accomplished. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's bring these guns down this way. Um, these guys need replacements, I think. Okay, so the third are on defense. These guys are on hold the line as well. 
yeah, we're not going to get in there now. I, I think what we need to do is we need to wait a few turns, get their readiness and morale up, and then we make an attack. And they are going to get attacked back. And we've also got Dunkel start pushing in too. But I'm going to, you know, we've got to do something to stop that. Let's see if we can push, push into this as well. Uh, he's got a guy who's got people's heroes there, look. Uh, increase their attack value. Okay. Let's get those guys in there. On. Let's get those ones in. Ah, look at this. Look what we got. Okay, I gotta think about this carefully because this is a quite precarious situation, I think. Um, get these guys back here. Can we replenish these? No. no it's because of that bottleneck. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, this. this Damn pool system screwed me because um, if I didn't have the bottleneck there, I could have actually got these guys replenished. But this stupid, stupid automated system that never works properly. Um, okay. We want to be stopping all points going up that direction. Yeah. What about this one? Okay, we're just taking pull out that way, as it should be. Yeah. Okay. Right, folks. Um, because I don't want this episode to go on forever, I'm just going to keep going. Um, well, I think hopefully we can get this bottleneck sorted. I might have to have a think about it while we're while it's offline, because otherwise it's going to take me thinking about it and fiddling. Um, but I'm starting to feel the pressure of this impending war in the east now in a big way. Uh, we need to start preparing for that. I just need this zone. If I can get this zone, right? This is a minor city. It's going to have a lot of people in it. Um, it's going to have plenty of workers, plenty of people. And then we've got more people. Basically, we've got more workers. And I've got a war off my hands. If I can do something about keeping Dunkelstart happy. They're militarists, though. So the chances of them being happy are pretty low. They're all going to want to go to war with us eventually. Uh, so, yeah, man. This has been the most, by far the most brutal game of Shadow Empire I've ever played in terms of difficulty. And I think the bit difficulty is almost entirely of my own doing because of that mistake at the start. Um, but yeah. So um, here at Minas, let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the construction overview. Building a vidcom station here. Uh, bureaucratic offices at Crank. Yeah, quality. We need while we've got this quiet, but we need quality of life. It's really important to get more quality of life up. I think. Can't really afford any of the really cool stuff that I want, like hydroponics. Um, you know, like heavy industry. Uh, like you know, like more bureauc bureaucracy would be really useful. Uh, the the next high command office would be helpful, I think, for the political points. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, meanwhile, in Neris, I don't think we're building anything here, are we? Yeah, we. with the university's gone up, that's going to raise quality of life. No end. Um, well, not no end, literally, but, you know, it's going to help. Education points are going to go up here. Uh, what else can we get here? Uh, I think we go with Vidcom Station or Hospital 2. Yes, yeah, we'll go with the hospital. Hospital actually helps you with casualties, by the way. I think. I'm pretty sure that you get less. Is that right? I'm going to making that up. I remind myself, actually. Um, Just go to the health score. Yeah, this is just the quality of life. I seem to remember something about the... I know, for example, the uh, the security... Uh, the bases do give you security points. And then the security is used in other calculations. Uh, I, I assume it's the same for hospitals as well. It might uh, it might give you a bonus in certain events, although I think that's mostly the the leader effects. Yeah, these guys got low readiness, low morale. 
some of them have got a decent morale. Now they are getting pushed in by a Dunkel start. I mean, yeah, this is uh, this is difficult. I, I'm not ready to attack this turn. I think we need to wait at least a turn and try and get some artillery bombardments in. And uh, we've got to get the artillery actually in to, you know, and then to do some artillery. The art don't, don't expect miracles from the artillery, by the way. It's not going to give you miracles. Um, but it will, it will over a few turns if we've got that amount of time. I think they're going to declare war. I think they might even do it next t next turn. Um, see if we can kill these guys quick. Do it, do it now. Mission accomplished. Okay, we push them back very fast, so we might be able to follow up. Do it, do it Come on, now. kill them. Mission accomplished. Oh, good lord. Okay. Yeah, this 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 is worrying me now. This is worrying me now. Anyway, guys, I think I'm about done. I think I'm about done. I'm I can't really move any further this way. We don't have really. Uh, we've got uh, we've got recruits, but I need to save them for another brigade, because because if I don't, uh, Sansari are just going to roll over me. And by the time I've deployed redeployed these infantry back up to this line, there's going to be no Minos left. They could well come in with tanks motorized troops, you know, mechanized troops, bikes, whatever it is that they've got. Uh, speaking of which, it might be worth trying to get some spies in. Okay, we do Copy have spies, that. but it's just that I, 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 I complained about this <laughs> until Vic changed it. I was like, I don't think spies Copy should be that. able to see all of the enemy territories and enemy formations. It's stupid. And he agreed and <laughs> changed it. And now I'm suffering the, suffering the consequences. Yeah, we have got a bunch of spies in now. We, need, we probably need to get some more in if we can. Copy that. Just try to get some eyes on something. And then we'll see if we can support the faction. Oh yeah, we've already played a stratagem on them. That's the turn. All right, guys, that's going to be it, I think, this turn. Um, I will catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the series. Things are The pressure's really, really increasing. <laughs> it's, like, I thought I was going to have a break. I thought I'd, I'd be able to have, you know, a bit of leisurely pace to take this over and then have a break. But no... Shadow Empire does not want me to have a break. No, Shadow Empire does not want me to relax. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll catch you next time. Take care.